our first look at a plan to dramatically change the Chicago skyline. The developer behind a proposal to build two soaring skyscrapers sharing these images tonight. Now, these towers would stand on the site where the Chicago Spire was originally going to be built. Eyewitness News reporter Liz Nagy live with a closer look for us, Liz. Ellen, it's hard to tell right now, but what's behind me is kind of a dark, empty space along the Chicago skyline. But what could be there would change the way the world sees the city of Chicago. Chicago's skyline could be transformed from a deep, now overgrown hole in the ground, once the site of the infamous spire that never was. Architects imagine erecting what they call the gateway to Chicago. It's an extraordinary place. It's the newest creation of the man responsible for the country's tallest building, New York City's One World Trade Center. Where you have, uh, where the, uh, the river comes down and enters the lake, that's an extraordinary motion, but it also happens to be a place of memory where the city itself was founded. Renderings unveiled tonight show two towers, the taller, stretching 1,100 feet above Lakeshore Drive, housing a total of 850 condos, 175 hotel rooms, and underground parking. I think it's an enhancement to the neighborhood. I mean, let's fill a lot up. I am very concerned because we're very crowded right now. Did you ever walk down Illinois? It's uh, quite claustrophobic. Beyond the tower, developers plan to finally create DuSable Park, a long promised space that sat empty for decades. During this very first proposal, the biggest opposition seemed to come about traffic that would come to an already congested area, as well as a lack of affordable housing. Right now, there is no timeline for this project because it still has several steps to go through, but the developers said they would hope to be able to build it in about four years. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.